Now here's an idea I just had. I don't know if it's going to work or not. But how would it be if I was to take my dividers and use them to measure precisely the length of the piece of tape that I needed and then let's just stretch this out here and see how it would work. I'm pretty sure this will work. Okay, I'm just sort of line it up against the top here and I'll be able to see. I should be within a millimeter of being pretty much straight on here. Okay. Now I take a little square like this, put it on here, Now I know you're a long ways back, but what we should have here is a, a nice right angle. And uh, then I would, oh come on, and then I would take my divider, measure what length I need, go along on here, you know, something like this. Once again, I realize you're a long ways back and you can't see what I'm doing, but I'm sure you get the idea. Then I would have the, the piece of tape precisely the right size to lay wherever I need it along here. I'm going to just give that a try. Now I was not planning on using my dividers here. Remember we had this little boo-boo right here yesterday and I cut that just uh, probably half a millimeter too short. But what I was going to do is I was, I was going to take another piece of tape and just put it over top in the right place. But one of the viewers commented and said something to the effect of why don't you try the liquid mask on that or that, or that would be a good place to, to you know use your liquid mask so we'll see if it's if the liquid mask is here in time I, I won't repair this and we'll just see if we can repair it using the liquid mask now <clears throat> excuse me what I am wondering about though is how does the liquid mask uh, work on the porous flat paint. Um, do you have to use some sort of a clear coat first before you use it or can you just put it on and it'll peel off like some kind of rubber? I'm, I'm hoping that that's what's going to happen. I have never used it nor have I watched it being used on YouTube. You know I think I'm going to have to go do that. Um, yeah. Okay so now we need a piece to go from from here to up here. Now this is a case of it's it doesn't have to be a specific length. Um, in fact it doesn't even have to be square on this end just so long as the side of it is the same as the end of this tape if you know what I mean. Um, okay so uh, cut ourselves a piece about that long. Now as I mentioned this piece does not have to be precise just approximate. There we go. Okay, I don't know if I smeared it over a little bit. Actually, no, I'm thinking it's too much. I don't want to scratch my deck here. Okay, now if 
if you're watching that on a 4K monitor, you will see that it lines up pretty good. Okay, now we need a piece about that long. No, it just has to go just in behind that little box. Like that. You can hold it there. That looks pretty good there. Push it down. Now, how are we at this end? Seems to be kind of bowed a little bit right there. Okay, now the next piece can go from here to here. You know what? I'll cut a maybe a 10 millimeter wide, and then for sure it's gonna go just just you know if you know what I mean. Well, that's pretty good. Make it a little longer, maybe. That took long enough, didn't it? Okay, maybe I'll try my pointer stick here to help hold me help me hold things down. Mm, the ankle's not quite right here. Try it like this. It's getting a cramp in my hand the other way. Oh. Still not right. Got a different grab on it now. I believe that's good. Looks good from my perspective. Okay, now let's see if we got that right. This is all going to be black here, or, or dark gray. I'm thinking maybe uh, maybe the 77, because I've got it, and it's uh, it's fairly dark. Okay, this is this is the side of this is the color of the hull. The 66 is what we painted uh, a lot of the little pieces uh, yesterday, or day before, and uh, I'm thinking the 77 is probably just about the right, uh, you know, darkness, <laughs> if you want to call it that. So I think that that would probably look pretty good. Well, that's what I got, so that's what we're going to have to do. So this would be all, all the same color here. And now we'll do this on this side and then as near as I can tell there is nothing up here that has to be masked except uh, uh, my friend Mark in Australia was suggesting why don't you mask off all these little boxes here 
I don't know, there's a lot of them. Okay, now some of these it would be, I was going to say easy, but it would be easier to get the masking tape all around it, like this one right here. Okay, and then go this way, and this way, and this way, okay, and that one would be masked off. But right here, <clears throat> I was thinking I could probably just go right over top of this because I thought this was going to be something that was going to have a, a part mounted on top of it, but I can see now that there's actually little tiny handles right here. So that's not going to be happening. So I would have to try and get a very thin piece of tape. Well, I'll show you on this side where you can see a very thin piece of tape in between the two. I'm thinking out loud, and here, here's another spot like that. It's probably only a little better than maybe, I'm guessing, two millimeters space. Well, it's not impossible. I can cut, I can put, cut narrow tape. I'm going to just go ahead and I'm going to cut a bunch of pieces. And I'll do as much as I can with it, and then I'll custom cut um, as, as we need. May as well do it, you know. Got nothing else to do, right? Okay, I have continued on here, and I have now masked off this side, the same as this side. They are basically, as near as I can tell, a perfect mirror image of each other, even right down to the little matching hatches. However, of course, as you can see, that the center area is, uh, you know, it's it's not symmetrical. Now, I was wondering, what what goes on here? Is this supposed to be a hatch? Or is this supposed to be a mounting base that you're going to set something on? What about this one here? Or or these ones over here? Um, so what I'm doing is I'm just sort of going ahead in the manual. This stuff here, we, we put that on the other day. That's the stuff that goes, goes underneath here that we're hardly ever going to see. Um, but if we move ahead in the manual... Um, Okay, this just shows this this piece being put down on the deck. Here we have some of the uh, pieces, the larger pieces. We don't need to worry about that. Now, okay, here, here we're getting into where there are going to be a lot of little pieces put on. And the, the place that I was kind of concerned about is like right here. Does something go on there? It, it doesn't show anything there yet. Same in this, in uh, step 12. It doesn't show anything being put on there. What it does show, though, is a tremendous amount of small detail that we have to nip off the sprues and put on. Here's here's uh, step 14. Look at, look at it all. Uh... But then again, there's nothing on there yet. Step 16, still nothing. Where I'm, 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 I'm looking right here, which is actually right here. Step 18, still nothing. Here we are on step 20. There, there must be something that goes there. I, w I would think. Um, we are we are now in the area where we like the bow section where the anchor chains and everything go. Uh, the the place in question is back here. Um, I'm still not seeing anything being... Maybe I'm just missing it. Okay, this is sort of a, a reverse image. It would have to be... It would have to be right here. Here, here we are, I think. 
Okay, this is this. So we move back. Okay, this piece right here is this piece right here. So this doesn't go far enough back. Neither does this one, nor does this one. Um, step 35, okay, this piece here is this piece right here. So we go back to here. No, okay, there, here we are. This piece right here is right here, only it's turned around. Still nothing on there. Okay, back, back, back. No, oh, there's still nothing on there. There it is right there. Here we go. Okay, I, uh, this is the first time I've actually seen this. I do not fake it. Yet yeah, we've got two pieces that are going to go on there. F31 and B13. F31 is going to go on here, and B13 is going to go on here. Now we will, won't be there for a long, long time, but at least I know now I don't need to mask this off, because it's going to get covered up anyway. And that's what I wanted to find out. Okay, I'm not going to bore you with a whole bunch of fancy editing here, but you remember I was talking about this one and this one? Well, that's these two right here. They get covered up. Uh, this one here is on the next step over here. It gets covered up by a P2. And this one and this one, they get covered up with what looks like E35s. So, uh, yeah, I don't need to worry about masking these off. I think I did pretty good there. Now, will one of these narrow ones fit in there? No, I'm going to have to special cut. Okay. Well, it will go here. I want to get it as close to the base as possible. Oh, you know what? This one's too wide. It's not going to fit. I thought it was going to fit, but it won't. Okay, well, let's stick it on this one here. I know it'll go there. I want it right up against the base if I can get it. Maybe angle it in and get the leading edge right up against the base. Then just drop it down like that. I think that's all right. Okay. Oh, 
I'll have to uh, go around uh, all these boxes with a sharpened toothpick or something and make sure I've got the edges all the way down. Now when I do the, the spraying I don't need to worry about it unless I, I really flood it on. I don't need to worry about it you know running down underneath the tape. It should stay where this where it, where it hits. That's not good. I'm probably getting in your light here and you can't see. I think that's all right. Okay. I guess I should, by rights, be sticking my macro lens on and doing one of these. Maybe when we move up to the to the other end, to my left, to your right. Okay, now, what do I need to go in there? I could put one right here. Starting to run out here. Now this place like this is going to be kind of awkward because it's got to go all the way down. This end isn't bad, but the other end's not too good there. All right, that's not too bad. Um, no, it's not good because it's on top of this little box. You can't see it, but it, maybe I could cut that out with my knife. Or maybe I could take it off and do it again. There, that's better. Okay, let's stick the macro lens on and do one. Okay, now I have to be very careful I don't move anything here. Because once I move it even slightly, It'll go out of focus on you. Well, I do believe that this end here should have gone a little bit closer to you. to hold this this deck down so it doesn't slide around on the table. That's well, some better. Okay, oh well, it's stuck on my finger. I was wondering where it went. Alright. And 
another one just get it angled a little bit different here and because I'm doing the two camera thing unless the other camera went and shut itself off you should be able to see what I'm talking about when I say angle just a little bit different because I realize that the main view here is the macro lens oh it's falling off my tweezers there we go All right, let's do one of the really small ones. Or how about a hatch? A little hatch just off to the side here, you probably can't see it. Let's do this little hatch. Okay, I've got some more little pieces cut here. And um, you'll notice with this hatch, there's a bit of a a little bit of an indentation or something on each side like right here and here and then of course here for the hinges so that means that I can't get the the tape in right up against the edge so probably the deck is going to get sprayed now I know there are if I probably put my mind to it I could probably you know, cut a piece of tape that it would fit in there, but you know, remember this this little box here. That's that's gonna have a, a part go on it. And the last one here. Now remember, I am going to be taking a a sharpened toothpick and going around these boxes and hatches and so on to make sure that the tape is not halfway up the edge. Now that this one maybe I got it just a little bit too close there. Okay. All right, let's do one more. I think we do have time this afternoon. Get a different grab on this here. Oh, I don't want two. Come on, Ron. I guess when I stuck those pieces on the edge, I stuck them too close together. Try not to get my my face in your view here because I gotta look pretty much straight down on this to see the other side of this. Now you'll you'll notice how the sides on the on these are sort of tapered. I, I don't know if on the real on the real hood the boxes actually were. I believe they're that way so that they would release from the mold better. No, no, that's just my opinion, and I, I could be wrong about that. But you have to sort of think how these things are, are molded. So, and they, they do a remarkably good job. It's, it's quite an art. I, I have to take off my hat to the, the people that, uh, you know, make these molds. 
Here, I'm just trying to make the parts that they've made. They've made the molds. They're the artists. Anyway. Well, tomorrow we should have our liquid mask. We should have our airbrush cleaner. And we should have uh, the Mr. Color thinner. All being well. In the meantime, thanks for watching, folks. And all being well, we'll see you tomorrow.